Welcome to Life After the Cover Save, episode 365. Episode Awesome Garden. Well, I changed the name, and I guess I didn't hit save. I I apologize. So it's, yeah, it's Awesome Garden. Well, Awesome Garden, that's a two. (laughs) Awesome Garden is a two. It's a prime number. It's it's a great number. It's a duo. The duality. Not, not like existence. a prime number in the mathematical sense. It's just like it's a prime number. Like, you know, yeah. it's a good number. Well, there's it's, prime. It's a yeah. There's subprime. It takes two. I thought one was enough, but it's not true. It takes two uh, of us. Ecclesiastes chapter four, verse nine. Two are better than one because mm-hmm. they have a good return for their labor. The second movie in a trilogy is always the best. <laughs> Prove me yeah. wrong. Ghostbusters 2? That's not a trilogy. Uh, I can, I can really. That's, not a That's not a trilogy. No. Don't, don't make that yeah. face. <laughs> no. That's not, not true. Okay. Okay. What is okay? Okay. Uh, what's okay. a trilogy? A trilogy it's is a th- three movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Con- yeah, yeah. So let's name Back some to the future. Let's name yeah, some trilogy. Back to the future. Back to the future. Star Wars. No, no. Back to the Future's one was better. Star Wars isn't a trilogy. There's over nine oh, I'm movies. Sorry. Are there hoverboards in Back to the Future one? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Back to the Future then 1 I was guess, better than I'm sorry, Back to the can Future 2. Can you rehydrate a pizza in Back to the Future 1? <laughs> uh, can you second, hang upside down? Star Wars isn't a trilogy. Yes, there's it is. Over, there's over nine movies in that trilogy. There are lots of different trilogies within that yes. trilogy. Yes, dude. Oh, oh sure. Okay. There's whatever. three tri- trilogies. Star Wars Thanks. is a trilogy of trilogies. Okay. The Lord of the Rings trilogy. Uh, you know what? The two is better than one, brother. <sighs> I think. <laughs> gotcha. I think Return of the King. I mean, the Battle of Helm's Deep. Gotcha. Oh. Oh. Return of the King was pretty good, though. That's a hard one. That's probably the hardest one. If somebody says which of the trilogy movies is the best out of all the, the Matrix out Reloaded. There, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Very good point. You proved my point exactly. <laughs> no, the what was the third Matrix one? Way better than the third one. No, the first Matrix was better than all of them. Well, that's one man's opinion. Oh, that's that's the, that's the okay. Very true. You're right. You're only one Matri- man. Matrix One was the worst of the Matrix trilogy. I didn't. I didn't say that. Yeah, you know what? You did with your eyes. Put- Listen, does Matrix 1 have werewolves and ghosts? Exactly. What? There's a werewolf? Matrix 2 does. Yeah. Who's the werewolf? The, the werewolf. Know. And then it's there's like the vampires ghost and werewolves and ghosts. I remember, there real was dumb, the, I remember there was those twins. Those yeah, they're like ghosts. Albino twins that would like go in think, and out. I think he just makes the comments. Werewolves, ghosts. Vampires, these are all programs. Listen, I've seen it once and I never wanted to see it again. So this is like a memory from 20 years ago. Amen. I'm going go, to go ahead and start my flossing routine. While <laughs> oh, yeah. While you guys continue. Life after the cover save supports bullshit. dental health. <laughs> oh, God. You know, because brushing alone isn't enough. Yeah, I know. You could have been doing that in the bathtub, but you didn't. You know what I was doing? I was um, Netflix has a series that it's like a documentary about F one racing, um, which I enjoyed Drive that series. Survive. Yeah, they actually did another one in that same style about uh, the Six Nations rugby tournament: England, France, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, and Italy. Somebody else. The Colonel. The Rothschild. Uh, so I was enjoying that. That's a pretty good one. I'm enjoying that little that little ditty. So 
so I Ooh, what I TV shows are you television. enjoying right now, Ed? I don't watch television. I just what started on Apple TV um, the uh, World War II pilot show. Oh, gosh, I can't think of the name of it. Band of uh, Brothers Air, 3. Air, Air, it, no, Band of Brothers tri- Part 2. It's a trilogy. I mean, it kind of it's is. A tri- no, it is actually a trilogy. It's with uh, Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg. This is their third endeavor into something. And it was yeah, uh, I mean, like, well, yeah, it feels exactly like Band and Brothers. Just you there know, was, there was Band of Air Brothers, Force. the Pacific, and yes. now it's Flyboys. Yeah, a- it's like Masters of the Sky. Masters, Masters of the Sky. Of the Sky. Yeah. yeah, okay. So is that that is by Hanks? And yeah, it's, it's Hanks and Spielberg. I oh, mean, okay. listen, it it's it's beautiful on the screen the the acting is all like it's it's exactly what you would expect from a hanks and spielberg joint (laughs) as they like to call it (laughs) you know that my grandfather was a bomber pilot in world war ii yes i did did you know that travis we talk about that uh i didn't Uh, i mean i know that like carl has some crazy stories about his grandpa in, in world war ii dude are you going to tell some of those stories? Six if you know are, six I don't minutes, think six minutes I'm, and twenty-seven <laughs> seconds. I'm going to go get some floss. If you're going to tell no, a story about, you know Carl. what? I don't think it's it's. It's, 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 not, it's, not, you, it's not yours they're not, to say. They're not my stories to tell. Oh, but, uh, thank God! My oh, grandfather thanks. was in the Korean conflict. They uh, they they based um, that character in Mash that dressed up like a woman on him. Oh, nice. Colonel, wait, no, it was, uh, man, Winker, yeah, w- Winker, no, Radar, Wink, yeah, Radar, no, not Radar. Radar had the glasses. Oh, that was George sweet, Costanza. Sweet, sweet, sweet Tush. No, oh man, it was. Oh God, Hogan, Hogan's hero. He was Hogan, right? Hogan's heroes. That's what it was. His That's name was another Hogan. TV show. Um, I uh, I'm gonna wait to watch what what just started. Shoot, the Mister and Mrs. Smith is that is that every week or is it all at once? Are they releasing yeah, an episode? I don't every know. Week? It seems like there's a lot of episodes out already. Okay. Well, I um, I'm gonna wait on that. I started the second season of Reacher. Oh man, Reacher is a real, a real, a real Listen, white man in from Ohio's fantasy. I don't it's know great. if if Reacher is actually good or not. All I know is I enjoy the hell out of watching that show. There's there's something about it. Like the writers, just every week, they're all like, "What could Reacher smash?" Like, well, what's something Reacher could just like destroy like really well and and they figure it out and he does it and it's it's a spectacle to behold. Middle age, white, male fantasy. It's what it is. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You know, I'm watching uh, South Park. I'm actually watching South Park on HBO. Just going through the whole series. Yeah. Starting, starting back with the with the alien invasion. Mm-hmm. You know, know South Park has had a lot, a lot, a lot of good stuff. I'm yeah. a fan. I, I think I would have to call myself a fan. Yeah. Now, yes, pretty good so far. Would you say that what was their best movie? There's only, one. I've only seen one. I've only seen the one movie, but I know that re- they put out a lot of different movies, like with COVID and. No, no, I mean, oh, uh, uh, I mean, are, I mean, Parker and Stone. Specials. I mean, Parker oh. and Stone, basketball, Team America, Orgasmo, that, Orgasmo, um, the Cannibal movie, Cannibal the musical. Oh, geez, I never saw that. That's the first Book one. Book of Mormon. Dude. The not movie. That's a play, dude. That's a different media. Yeah, brother. Movie thing. Bro. So, I mean that that's a tough question, Blake. Um, that's why I'm I think, here. I think Team America 
is their Ooh. greatest accomplishment, like on on the big screen. World police. But I quote basketball every day. Wow. There isn't a day that goes by that that my wife and myself don't quote the movie basketball. It is You're married. It is dear, dear to my heart. When did you get married? Two thousand four. No, no way. I didn't know no. you guys. You you guys Wait. weren't invited. That lady that yeah, lives well, at your house—that's your wife. Wait a minute. Well, hold on a second. You got a wormwood table. <laughs> you got a wormwood table, and your yeah, wife man. was okay with it. Uh, somehow, <laughs> you know what, Letty? She's like, "Oh wow, you, you know, uh, my son Eddie. He sent her this clip, like a reel, uh-huh. and it's this wormwood. It's like a hexagon or whatever shaped. Yeah, the hexagon like, table. That's like they're, a card they're, table. They're uh huh. Yeah." yeah. And so she's like, oh, you, have real nice. <laughs> you have a kid? You have a kid, Ed? Name Ed? Yeah. It's I'm weird. And uh, so I'm like, they're really expensive. I don't know. Travis spent a lot of money on his. And so, and then I was like, let me just show you. And then like the or first initial price, it's like, I don't know, $1,500. And then when you add on like anything. Anything. A cup that's, holder that's, is like three hundred dollars for a cup that's with, holder. That's with the cheapest wood, and and uh, and it's like and uh, and, it, and we don't stain it. <laughs> yeah. You know? and, but as soon as you're like, well, I mean, I obviously want everything that was in the commercial. We're like, oh, if that's what you want, then yeah, that's gonna be this. And I other showed price. her how expensive it was, and she's like, and Travis has one of those. I was like, yeah. She was like, that's really expensive. And I said, yeah, it was really expensive. I told you it was going to be really expensive. Because at first it doesn't look like, how can it go from this price yeah. to this price? And it's like 20 times the initial price or not, maybe not 20, but 10 times the initial price. How? Wow. But yeah. 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 All right. It's uh look, it's a luxury item. I love it. Uh, you are a luxury. My own children. Um, <laughs> and in many ways it costs more than my children do. Well, if you know what, now. you can't. Can you write it off though, like your kids, like a tax write off? Ooh, oh, Travis! I mean, what that. year did you buy that? Was it this uh, past year? No, it was. It was in twenty two. Oh, uh, you should have wrote it off. I should have. I should have. Oh well. Hey, you know, guys. Sorry to stop, but you're right. It's a, it's a very expensive table, but I wanted to get back to the TV show thing. Because oh, I, have okay. a bir- I have a birthday coming up in April. On April 12th, pretty pretty couple days after my birthday, um, they are releasing the first episode of the Amazon Prime TV show called Fallout. Hmm. Wow. I kind of want to maybe get together for my birthday, get Josh, and we watch the first episode together. I'm I'm in. Easy. I don't know if we're going to be able to swing it, but that would be pretty fun. And I got my commander decks for Fallout. And we can get you know a how bunch Ed of... feels about Magic the Gathering. I know, I know, but it's my birthday. Just okay. saying, I've been thinking about it could be fun. I don't often do things for my birthday. Usually we just get pizza. Yeah. Which is wonderful. Listen, which, I like this idea. Hey, pizza's still on the table. <laughs> I'm I'm a fan of, of this of this day. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about uh, yeah. It later. Uh, I think we need to like um get some like uh nuke cola uh mm-hmm. for for the party. Like we'll 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 con- commission some like uh caffeine free uh, diet coke in glass bottles and get like stickers to put nuke cola on it you know uh i could see this we'll get like um you- radiation poisoning mm-hmm. and uh see like giant what rats what happens yeah giant could you mutated yeah could you i mean antelope like- valley i'm sure we could get uh our hands on some mutants out there like easy 
What about like what could you bake in the oven, like a meat dish, that you can make it look like it's a a, a, a rad roach, like a giant oh, uh, meatloaf, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Rad roach meatloaf. I love you it. can make a meatloaf meatloaf look really disgusting if you want to. <laughs> yeah, you could. It already kind of does. You, you get some like used rib bones and stick it in there. Mm hmm. Okay. That's good. Yeah, and then right. like you this... can bake to make it look all funny. And do you know what? All of the listeners are invited. Yeah. Yep. You just Every have to find it. One. <laughs> we'll get some homeless guys to try to raid raid the house. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And we'll just go out and shoot them. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll all be in blue jump shoots. Yeah. This actually sounds kind of fun. Either I'm way, in. I you know I've been thinking about it for a while, and this it, it popped up in my head. I it hope it's like, good, man. Amazon's a real crapshoot with uh with what they're putting out there. Some things. I are mean, good. Lord of the Rings was fantastic. Lord of the Rings was good. I, I enjoy. It. <laughs> Listen, I'm more talking about the Wheel of Time. Yes, we can oh. all agree the Wheel of Time is the worst thing that's ever you know been what? made. You Epic. said it was so bad I never watched it. I and I did you such a, a favor. Yeah, you did me a favor. Watch the second season eventually. Okay. Do you know what I am kind of really into right now though, guys? Outside of TV. It's yes. actually keeping me from watching all the TV that I wish I'd be watching right now. Let I know guess. where you're going. I think I know what it is. I know where yeah. you're going. Square what are you saying? Square dancing. <laughs> Square bases. <laughs> Square bases? Oh, I, I thought you were gonna say printing uh, 3D printing a carrying kit for your models. <laughs> yeah, that's not what we're doing tonight, dude. Oh chip, my bad. <laughs> that's you keep bringing that up, but we're not talking about that. We have yet. to. That's gonna be a whole episode, dude. Yeah, yeah exactly. dude, that's on our that's on the Epic Fails episode, dude. And the thing is, we have to yes. get it sponsored. We have to get it sponsored. Buy a competing company. If only we knew someone who made yeah, like ca- traveling miniature, cases, a miniature, miniature case gaming company. cases. Shoot, we do know somebody. Uh, yeah, yeah, KR multi case. Oh, I was gonna say battle foam. Anyway, Dave, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna go out there and say it. I am of a certain age now that makes me completely horny for mm-hmm. warhammer the old world that's right baby i was I gonna help i was gonna say it makes you susceptible for layers of abuse but you can say it that way i would say grognard grognard gray beard Silverback yes. Stockholm Syndrome A rhino <laughs> Yeah so yeah, Tiger shark <laughs> So yeah I think Large old, body of water <laughs> I think The old world uh-huh. Is Probably the greatest, the classless, oh, dirtiest, and to me, it shows how little the company cares about its its users, and or, it, and the word is users. Or okay? it shows. No, I'm not even done. I'm not even about. done. Oh. I'm not even okay. done. All right. All right, we'll hear okay? you out. Now, they're using nostalgia as a weapon against you. Nom, 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 it's nom, like... Nom, 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 nom. It, Sign and, me up. And, and, and the people, I understand, like with the people that are into this, I now understand John Wayne Gacy because he was so sociopathic. He was so ruined by civilization and society that he could do a children's party as a clown and then go murder people hours later. So the fact that people are just 
supping and chewing and enjoying all of this, it's sick. This is this is a sick, sad, horrible scene. And I can't wait for you guys to tell me all about it. Wow, that's that's quite quite the intro, Blake. I told I you not. I was holding my tongue. I was holding my tongue, but now we're in the show. And now I can let it go. Okay, I right, right, we'll we'll get into it. I love it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I my love God. ranking up like little plastic men and straight lines and big blocks and pushing them around the table. Oh, I love goblin green bases. Oh, the sharp angles, the flocking, everything about it is just fantastic. And I never sold or never rebased my vampire count army. And it is just primed and ready to, to, to line back up and march onto the field. But that being said, I, over the last uh, several years, have been filling in gaps in my army. Like, you know, uh, sniping eBay to find some miniatures that I was missing. And uh, I've really enjoyed now, like, adding those miniatures into the fold and uh, I've opted not to rebase my army, but to get um, movement trays, uh, some 3D printed movement trays that increase the base sizes where needed. And uh, so far, they're looking fantastic and very easy to use. And uh, my uh, 2000 point vampire count army is almost like ready for the table. I, I have a few things that I'm still working on. Uh, but uh, that's 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 been my passion. Now, there is a problem with um, with my vampire counts. They mm. are relegated to the uh, to the realm of legends. They're 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 not going to be like supported. Like they're not going to um, be re releasing the models or anything like that. Yeah. yeah. But oh. uh, this ended up being a, an immense blessing. Because uh, number one, it was one less book that I had to buy, and the books are quite expensive. Uh, so I got a free PDF. But like, I have to say that these like free PDFs that they did for these legacy armies, they were not done like as an afterthought. These are like very well like thought out and well written army lists. Like I I am uh very very happy with uh the state that the vampire count uh army is in right now. And uh yeah, I just I can't wait to uh to square off against Ed and what to, what um army in the old world has uh has enticed your fancies, Ed. Hey, let me just, okay, yeah, 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 go ahead. Let me then. just start out by saying. I'm going to take my note. Um, I have been a fan of Warhammer Fantasy since I was in high school, okay? Mm-hmm. And I was sad when they destroyed the old world. But I understand as a company, if something's, you know, if you're losing money, you have to make a change. And so they did. And some people just, I mean, I have an Age of Sigmar army. I have two. I think I played one game of Age of Sigmar. But I still have them. They're here. So if I ever get the urge to play, I'll play them. But I uh, sold my Bretonians a while ago. I think even before they stopped because we I, we just wasn't playing it. And I used it to get a mass of 40k army because that's what we played. Mm-hmm. Um so I've always wanted to do Bretonians again since I've that was my first army and as a painter sorry let me fix my mic as a painter um I think my skills have improved since I first started oh yeah You're and so I want to see yeah. see the difference of of uh you know, see my growth. In, yeah, the the, the Bretonian army is is a palette that uh, you're going to you're going to have a you're gonna have a a, a heyday uh, painting up yeah. that army. So it's gonna take yeah, some I, time, but it's gonna be oh, awesome. it's gonna take 
so much time. It might be two years before I play a painted army. But here's the thing. So I bought uh, the Bertonian box because I felt like it was a for the, it was a good value for what you got. You got a book. You got a bunch of troops. You've really filled out your core, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. It, it's a really it's a it's a solid starter box that they produced. I think the yeah. one positive the one positive thing I can take away from this is that they are releasing the book with the army as as like so when you buy that box you get the the army book as well you get your like rule that, book. That, that's yeah, yeah book. They, that's a that's a good not an practice <clears throat> that's a good the practice. rule book the rule book yeah oh the, you know, the rule book yeah oh so you don't even, book, wait wait you don't even get the rules to play the mock yes you do oh well, hold on there dude hold on there so in the in the box in the assembly guide, you will get the points to play the models that are in your box and the rules to play the models in your box. So you could start playing it immediately with the rules and then the paper that you get for the models in the box. So you can start playing immediately. Now <clears throat> there's other books you can get. So if you want to expand on your army, you'll have to get other books, which I think I feel like that is kind of, it's like when you okay, so remember in 40k when they came out with the new edition, they had these two indexes. It's like half the armies you can choose are in this index, and the other half are in this index. Yeah, this is yeah for like uh, eighth edition. Eighth edition was the first time they kind of did that. I feel yeah, like an index. Yeah, so this is the same thing. So if I want the ravening hordes, which are the, essentially the bad guys, the bad I have guys, yeah. all the indexes for it. So if I decide to do orcs or scave or what well, well orcs chaos wait didn't scaven get kicked to the yeah yeah, yeah. Sc- scaven got really what hated. the ooh ooh what okay continue Ed. sorry so if you choose to use if i choose to play some of those armies i will have the rules for them and then i also have the rules for the bretonians empire dwarves and elves in the other book i got because somebody who, was selling these for 70, 70 bucks online, both of them, which is like thirty dollars off. Because so seventy bucks each. No, for both. Yeah, of retail. They're, they're yeah, the the books are they're seventy 50. each, they're but but the each. army books are fifty. Yeah, yeah, the rule book seventy, army books fifty. So Ed bought, and then hold on, hold on. Well, no, I want to clear. I want to clarify. You bought well, the I, there's still ravaging more. the ravaging hordes. Yes, which is basically the index for the bad guys. Correct. And then you bought the other one, which is the index for the good guys. For the for the good guys. And those were those were fifty bucks a pop. Yes. They're normally Retail. fifty bucks yeah. a pop. Retail. Yes. I got them seventy. Um then as the armies come out, they're gonna have army books. So the Bretonian one is twenty seven dollars. I haven't bought it yet because they're sold out. So I can't even buy it if I want it. And that's an online order only order, dude. So you can't go in the shop and buy that, which makes it a little more difficult. <clears throat> the uh, I th- it feels like the this old world was way popular than they even thought it was going to be. Oh yeah, um, I remember my local GW shop, like uh, you know, posted at like nine forty five right before the open. They had like you know four of everything, uh, you know, in stock. And I got there, it opened at 10. I got there at 10, 15. I was like, uh, uh, I was looking around, hey, where's the old world stuff? It's all, eh, it's all gone. <laughs> so, so like, it all sold out in the first 10 minutes of opening. Interesting. It's like, um, it's like, it's like an engineering. They engineered the scarcity, which they've never done that before. All that FOMO. All that FOMO. Or you know what? It's not, maybe it's not the first time that they they didn't plan this right. You know, they messed up. They didn't. Yeah, you know, they didn't gauge it right. It did snow. Here's the thing, I I think it could be either. Either is very likely. Either they they force the scarcity, which they've done yes, in the past, of course. Or well, hold on a second. Or they just didn't think it was. <laughs> oh my god! I'm plugging, or they I'm, just I'm didn't... plugging my ears. <laughs> Or they didn't think it was going to be that popular because it's not that 
they're saying this is limited. You can there are, there has been times in the past where they put stuff out and said this is limited. This is the only you can only get it now. Like some of the books that Carl and other people have tried to get and they couldn't get them because people have bought all the books and then resell them on eBay. There's has mm-hmm. been cases where they've only made that. And then there's cases where they're like, "All right, put in your order. We'll eventually get around to you. We're we're going to produce them as quickly as we can." And this is what they're doing now. Those boxes aren't limited. If you want to buy a Bretonian box, they will come back in stock again. It's not, it wasn't limited. It wasn't limited. I think it's just. Yeah, I think it's more like production issues really more than anything else. Um, But, uh, but yeah, I think it it ended up just being way more popular than, than what their um, predictions uh, probably were. And also, I also think it was a production issue. Because the models that I got were not all in sprue. I had bags of models that were already clipped oh, from the sprue. I think they had a huge quality because people were putting things on the line where the horse heads were like all penis like. Yeah. Melted penis like. I bet you there was some like like serious quality control, you know, issues and stuff like that. Like who knows all the machinations, but let me tell you. Well, can I can I can I respond to several things at this point? Uh, absolutely go ahead okay um i wish i would have taken notes i wish i would i wish i would have taken you know here at life at the cover save we have opposing viewpoints we're not a bunch of yes men who just have a positive take on everything (laughs) it's true now if i won the a warhammer hero award what was it called? What was it called? The Warhammer Heroes? Yeah. What did they call it? Yeah. yeah. I might have a different take on this. Uh, <laughs> no, it's interesting. What, is, it's like, what would that prestigious award get you, though? Nothing. <laughs> not, nothing. Not any of those fucking books that you can't get uh, limited quantities of, uh, and you're getting fucking gouged on eBay like all the other fucking rubes. Um, there was something about part of this process is when Travis was saying something in my head, all I could think mm-hmm. about was like games workshop, James workshop, like sitting like on the edge of a wall and mm-hmm. squeezing out big fat turds. And when they fell on you, you would be yes. And you rub them all over your body and be happy because, Oh, now it's warm because it was cold outside now I can cover myself in all this crap, and I'm happy about it. That's what I. Yeah. That's what I thought about. I can't remember. And what the great thing was. about that is you could use the new siege rules in the Warhammer yeah. Old World that's to right. uh, recreate that castle siege where you're uh, you're out in the cold. Yeah. Um, yeah. I uh, listen. Another response. You got another response. Okay. Another response. What, what are you showing us? Because you weren't taking notes. Those are my notes. These are my notes. No, no, no. Those are notes for something <laughs> like a, else. Dude. It's like a grocery <laughs> list. This was a uh, uh, this was a coworker had uh, left yeah. to a different school. They sent me a Valentine. They sent me a nice note saying thank you. Oh, um, oh. Uh, the other thing. The other thing. Um, why do they hate you? Okay, but can you elaborate, like, why? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Where does this come from? Yeah, yeah. Explain. Explain that. Because I see this as an act of of pure love. Yeah. I wanted, like, me and Ed were even, like, seriously looking at Kings of War, doing yes. some 15 millimeter Kings of War or something like that. We, we've, we're we itching for square bases. You should have stuck with it. We almost went no, over. You should have stuck with it. No, but Blake, I've read the Kings of War rule book, and I've read the Old World rule book, and oh, the Old World rule book is so delicious. It tastes so good. So and the good. Kings of War. It's like, uh, it's like the Kings of War. It's like you're using uh, like the um, you know, the artificial vanilla. It's like I mean, it'll it'll work. But if you get that that real vanilla bean and you're scraping that vanilla bean out and then you put that in your eggnog and 
Oh, it just oh, tastes man. so good. It does taste good, especially that vanilla bean is a big piece of turd that they're but, pooping okay. on you. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna explain. It. Okay. Um, I did everything In right. <laughs> okay, I did. I did everything right. I like Ed. I, I understood. I understood that. The um, original Warhammer Fantasy was not making them money. So they had to do something drastic to change it. I I played way more than one game of Age of Sigmar. Oh, yeah. In yeah. fact, I even I did the right thing by um, rebasing my army. She didn't have to do. Continue. No. That's utter no, complete didn't. bullshit. No. You don't have to, no, How? don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You could just no, 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 no. Were you playing in tournaments? Hold on, I'm sorry. Were you playing in tournaments? No, that is not the point, Ed. The point is, is I went through the effort. I'm not a big hobby guy. I'm not a big hobby guy, and so when I did it, it was, it was me getting with the program and getting behind it. <laughs> and now they're like, huh? Let's see. What other bit of nostalgia can we use to continue to abuse our user base? Oh, all those people that rebase the armies, all those people that end up selling their models because the game doesn't exist anymore. Or burn them. Uh, and all of those. And then when we make the rules for them, yeah, then we, we burn, yeah. Then when we make the rules for them, we're like, uh-uh. Several of the most uh, iconic uh, armies in the old world, aren't even supported anymore. You want to know why? Yeah, what's the reason why? Okay. Okay. Hey, yo. Quit being a mark for the old world. (laughs) Listen. All right. So, if if you're like, we're going to try out the old world, right? If you do all the armies and you have to do support and FAQs, it's going to take a lot of resources. If you minimize the amount of armies that you have in the beginning, just like Horus Heresy, it doesn't have every army. Nobody's upset that it doesn't have every army, right? Horus Heresy just has a little bit. What's the other, the one with the mini, the miniature knights that fight each other? They don't have every faction, but that's okay. We're going to focus on these groups, and a lot of those groups are the ones that don't have factions in age of sigmar they're not they they did what they did to the skaven to the bretonians in age of sigmar there's no there's no army for them anymore right yes there is an army in age of sigmar called the skaven no they don't want you i'm talking about bretonia model yeah they what i'm saying is there's no bretonia in age of sigmar no no because they had they were trying to rework all the human stuff that's what that's what i'm saying they're, what they did to Bretonia in Age of Sigmar, they've done to Skaven in the Old World. Why would they? They don't because have Skaven is corpse. AOS now. Yes, yes. F- Flesh Eater Corpse. That's AOS. We're not dealing with that over here. We're not going to bring that into fantasy. Why you not? They're not. They're not taking Orux because Orux are Age of Sigmar. We're going to have orcs and goblins over here. It's, We're not going to have this 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 futuristic beetle riding elf army that used to be elves. They're not elves anymore. They're not wood elves anymore. They're trees and they're creatures. They're, they're, it's not even what elves are anymore. We're going we're to the not, elves. That makes sense. The new elves yes. are nothing like it. Those uh, the new floating, dwarves are not the new. Yeah, the yeah. dwarves aren't. So, but the point is, what doesn't make though, sense? What doesn't make sense is. The Skaven didn't change. <laughs> yeah, they did. There's no There's, big... The new, the new Skaven are different than the old Skaven. I don't even know if they're called Skaven anymore. Are they still called Skaven? They're still called Skaven. It's oh. just the thing well, that's is... that's problem, dude. That's, that's problem, That's the thing bro. is, they don't want you to use your old Skaven. They don't want you to use your old vampire accounts. They want you that's to a, buy... They do. They absolutely no, do. they don't want you to use the vampire accounts. That's why they got rid of them. No, if they got rid of them completely, they wouldn't have even taken the time to make those rules that they gave to Travis for free. I, 
I would. That's the crap I you're would, rubbing on your body to make yourself feel better. No, well, I, I would um, agree with you if the if you if the legend if you guys weren't if the legend PDF guys, for the vampire counts wasn't you guys weren't so brainwashed. fantastic. No, we're not brainwashed, dude. So you're the what? one that's brainwashed, you, and you, you know were. why you're brainwashed? Hold on, hold on. Because why? Games Workshop made you hobby, and you got so mad that you had to rebase your figures once that you were so furious that you had to do it twice. Because listen, probably the first time like a circle base <laughs> fell on the floor and you had to reach down and get it. You're all, God damn it! I quit. Uh, I quit. Uh, hold on a second. So. The, the point where you're saying you have to... Because you were able to take those models that you had in fantasy and use them in Age of Sigmar. I didn't have that luxury. Bretonian didn't get an army, or else I would have. I'm sure you would have, yeah. Hold on. So you haven't had to buy any new models in 30 years, and you're complaining <laughs> no, about it. Not 30 and, and years. All, well, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, and you know in what? 10, they years. did... I have bought, and don't, don't get this twisted, I have over, let's see here, original mono pose, the, I have over four generations of Chaos Warriors I've bought from these pricks. Right. But at least so, I get to use them. I, yes, and you get to use them. And the, the only thing you have to do in order to play the old world I'm not rebasing. is put, no one said you had to rebase. You can print out a file that allows you to put round bases into big giant blocks. It works it. great. But I heard that my chariot base is too big for that. Chariot base is too big for what? Oh, your oval base? My big oval base. And what base tournaments are you playing in that they're not going to allow you to do that? It's not about that. It's the guys. <laughs> it, it, it's, they so yeah, weren't they, they thinking do make about them. the user. They weren't thinking about them. That obviously they were. No, they weren't. Because if they didn't think about us at all, they wouldn't have even brought back the old world. No, they were thinking about you because they wanted to take your money, both of you. But did, how so, much money did they get from Travis? Nothing. They got well. They they did get what was it? I think the I got the digital version, which was like forty nine dollars of the rule, rule book. Okay. I, I got the official digital version. And that's it. That's all the GW has got me for for Old World. And that might be but, the only thing they get from them. Maybe no, it might no, be. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not because you can't stop. Because, because I'll probably once this army's like completed and all updated, I might probably get a second army. Because nice. I think nice, I love bro. this game more than anything else in the world, and well, I haven't even played it yet. Here's the beauty. Now, right. in this modern world where we live in, you don't have to buy GW's movement trays, right? Well, they don't make mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Nope. They, they, de do. they definitely they, they, make Do they them. make the conversion trays? No. No, no, no. no they but they make movement trays. They make movement trays. You can print out For... your own movement tray. In this modern world that we live in, you can print out models that look... I, I mean, at this point, if you're taking a model from the year 1999 and you're getting someone to resin make that, that can create models in CAD form and print them out on a resin printer, they're just as good or better. So yeah. you can mix and match. You can buy, I could buy the Bretonian starter army and then I can add characters that I printed. Yeah, out I mean, them. listen. Uh, let's say you wanted to start up a vampire count army. Well, you know, that's not supported. Why would you? So what else are you going to do besides 3D print stuff? Exactly, bro. That's all, and guess what? You got free rules. Well, you don't have free rules. For your army. Well, yeah, you, to play the game, you have to. Free army rules, yeah. Yeah. I mean... And I'm sure the turn order sheets and i'm sure there's there's ways because of the world that we live in that you can find those rules online somewhere i hope you find them for free and i hope they're stolen from those sick perverts who are taking advantage of my friends i don't um, feel here's the thing. So i don't feel this? like i'm getting taken advantage of 
That's, and that's I, I feel only joy. That's yeah. that shows you how evil they are. But again, I, I, you still. The thing is, well, how, about this? how about this? And how about this? You, you still haven't explained why it's bad. I already said. No, I did every. Said, I did. I did leaning, everything. Leaning over the wall. I did everything right. On you. I did everything you right. And it, it doesn't and matter. You, now well, I got to fucking rebase this bullshit. No, you don't. Um, no, you don't. Yes, I do. Again, I have to rebase them. No, I have to rebase them. No, you um, don't. You, there's conversions. It's like this. You guys are married. You know that if you put the idea in your wife's head to get the thing or to do the thing, then if it's if you if you make it think it's their idea, they're all for it. All right, Christopher Nolan. It's okay. No, but it's true. It's true. We do. We trick. Inception people. was not a documentary. We it trick. Was a, it was we trick sci-fi. manipulate people to make them think that, um, it, like it's their idea. It's the same thing. They are so good. They have turned you guys inside out, and now you're happy with what's happening to you. It's I almost lead by like. Example. Uh, you have someone you love that joins a cult and they have to, and you, and you want to tell them like, no, don't do it. Come back. That's what I see. But I'll tell you what I need to know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How big is your conquest about, army? About how, what? How, what? <laughs> how, how big is your conquest your, army? Conquest army. Oh, you get tricked huge. all the time. You get tricked every day by but, every other company. You know what though? But I don't, Feel bad about it. Yeah, because you're, it's all different kinds of poops. It's this guy's poop, and it's this guy's poop. But it's I'm okay with different. that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm okay it with that. Because <laughs> it's, it's warm. It's, it's better warm. poop. The no, bottom line not. is, you guys have bad taste in poop. I got the best taste in poop. <laughs> but here's the real question. Um, yeah. About how many points... About you guys, about how many points would I need of my Chaos Warriors to make this thing happen? Like, what's the what's the average Chaos Only, Warrior cost? You just what you oh, I can look that up. In a, yeah, thank right you. Now. But what I'm saying is, you could only use what you rebase. Okay, if you don't rebase it, you ain't playing. And the thing is, okay. all the Chaos Warriors went onto a bigger base. So I don't even know those Chaos Warriors. Their round bases might not fit into the new schema. They will. They will have somebody will have made that. You tell me the base size, and I'll tell you. I can print out something for you. But my my so oval blocks. base doesn't fit. You say this one will work. I'm not talking about your chariots. I'm talking about your at least for your troops. Okay, here we go. What do you want to look up? A champion of chaos? No, just a chaos warrior. Okay. Because it's, it's, it's all about blocks of infantry. A chosen now, chaos warriors. They're 13 points a model. And a champion much, is plus six. How much is a skeleton? Uh, skeletons are five points a model. What? Paying eight more points? Bullshit. Uh, So 13 points a model. Uh, So I get a big 40-man single line. Right? 40 men, single line, and just mark. And then, yeah, that works. I can do this. My goal is to play this to make you guys hate this game. Oh, yeah. That's very simple. I I like I won't play anyone who's who's running a, you know, 20 or 30 single line block of troops. You know it's interesting a, for a while that meta I will. of the um Yeah, you I, probably yeah. would. Remember Why when, would you? you just shoot them. <laughs> you remember when the meta was the horde ranks when mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. you would do any rank after 4 would be like extra extra bonuses Attacks. to your combat resolution. So you get those big fucking buses of of uh slaves, clan uh, clan slaves and they would just always win combat or they wouldn't run away because their horde ranks would keep them in the fight. 
Yeah, the um the beauty of the uh, the new rules it's it's just the front ranks that that are fighting. Even and, Spearman, um, what about Spearman? No, no, Spearman's are the front too. So so there there is a special rule that you could fight in extra ranks, but the Spearmen don't get the extra ranks on the charge, um, which um makes them a good kind of like to a good unit to receive a charge. Um, because uh, the spears even get a plus one to initiative um, when they get charge. But uh, yeah, I, I think the the rules are in a really. I mean, listen, as we spoke about in about forty k players, it's the same sort of thing. There's something wrong with the minds of miniature gamers that they just try and break the rules no matter what. And the so some people have made some very funny videos online, but. I don't think people are going to be running like these 20 single line blocks of troops. Cause one thing it's just going to look dumb on the table. <laughs> like yeah. the, the whole point of playing this game is you want an Win. awesome looking game to be on, on, on the table. And, and it's, and it's just like, and a single line of, of spearmen just that you're just pushing again up on a two by four, just, looks so dumb uh, like i'm uh, i plan on running uh like 420 skeleton blocks um that you know will give me good maneuverability uh yes ed yes i have a question let's say i because i haven't read the rules and you have if mm -hmm. let's say those that that thing that's going all the way across the board gets hit right in the middle okay and only the one in front of the model can like die and stuff, right? No. So, see, so he, here's here's where they they're making the rules um, work ag against the player. Um, how it is uh, written is when it's your initiative step, your full front rank, in, irregardless of um, model to model contact. So, if if a if a um, if a front rank of five charges a front rank of ten. Yeah. All ten models in the front rank get to attack. Right, what right, they right. what they're saying is like you know they'll kind of swarm and bunch together in in the in the melee. Um, so you charge a single um, like model character into a ten man um, front rank. Uh, you get the initiative, and you kill three of them. Yeah. Uh, seven of them get to attack back. Correct. But, <clears throat> okay, so let's say you have your whatever, and you kill so many of them, right? Uh -huh. They have to remove those models that are in front of you? So you're still removing models from the back, but there's a rule called step up um, that essentially you're removing models from the back because it would be very unwieldy, but technically the models in the front are dying. But there's no ranks um, on this thing. It's just one long... Rank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, will they ever be out of coherency? Not be, no, because they're stepping up. Yeah, no. There, there, there's the, there's there's no coherency. You, you, you're always you're always going to remove. Like if there is only one rank, you're just going to remove from the sides. You'll you'll never split it. Um, you don't have to remove. Like base to base combat is only important in character and like um, challenges. Like that's the only time that base to base really comes um, into play. Well, or actually, anything that's not in base to base only gets to make a single attack. Um, so if you have models that have multiple attacks, you like, and they're not in base to base, they'll only get to do one single attack. But okay. um, models that step up don't get to to attack in that round. Um, That's what I'm saying. So, mm -hmm. so if you clear, well, if you're clearing the people in front of you, those people step up. Well, it'd be more of a side. Oh no, they step. just the whole thing. The whole thing gets attacked. The whole thing gets step attacked up. Only happens with with, with, with uh, back rank. Okay. Back rank step up to the to the forward. But okay. a model that you know, but yeah, whatever you kill. So I, as long as you you know kill the front rank in in the charge, you're not going to get anything hit back unless they're spearmen. And the you're spearmen not going to you're not going to do that. We'll if get it's to. a thirty man line. You know what I'm saying? No, you're not. But also that thirty man line. I mean, 
where is it going to move? And all you have to do is is flank it, you know, yeah. flank it and spank it. And yeah, and because if you hit it from the side, they can't attack. Right? They can only they can only <laughs> attack with one model. Yep. But you could slaughter as many of them as you want. Good. Flank it. And spank you're it. you're you're. I super, can't wait. Your super expensive army is now tied up with this bullshit. 40 man line. Yeah, th- that is the problem is like you'll probably have to invest a lot of points into taking out that unit that only costs 100 points. Yeah. I hate it. Well, it's dumb. Like I I listen, I I will just like, you know, as if if, if I ever am at a table, I would just say lovely game, I'm going to go do something else with my time today. Like I I will yeah. not I will not engage in this uh frivolity. I'll just shoot it with my trebuchet. You know what I mean? Make it do a break go. test. It'll be fine. You can cause so much fear to those units. That's uh, true. I have a yeah. lot of fear and terror in my yeah. uh, in, in my army. Make them break. Maybe I should uh, step up to the top. No, challenge. don't do it. But yeah, don't I, do it. Don't do Blake's it. going to challenge you like that. No, of course so, I'm not. Blake, yeah. if, if you want to borrow this book to make your list, Oh, you can borrow it. I was going to say, I'm not going to borrow that book to wipe my bottom because no. my hemorrhoid right now is kind of swollen. So Okay, so you don't want to borrow the book. I got it. Uh, I would just, you know what? I'm I just, think he does. I think I'll just try to find a PDF online someplace. That's fine. Just offering. <clears throat> and also, is uh, is there an official builder for it yet? I don't. I don't do builders. I only use. Uh, no, I. I don't. I don't know if they're doing official birds. I'm just using a spreadsheet. But I think there are plenty. I mean, uh, I've seen in the community. There's there's plenty of ones out there that like there's apps out there that third party apps that are doing like you know not not specifically that that battle. What, what was that one called? Battle. 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 Scribe, Battle. 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 Yeah, Battle scribe. <laughs> There, there's several out there that, that people are talking about. Whoa, what model is that? Uh, that's uh, that's uh, I didn't even know I had this. Daughters of Cain. That's the Daughters of Cain, dude. Daughters of Cain, dude. You can't use those. <clears throat> no, I don't want to, but why do I have this? <laughs> Maybe I need to make some trades. Check out this bad boy. Well, oh. you can't run them. You can't run them. Why, why not? Because you guys are idiots. <laughs> How many points I'm is Archeon? Look up. How many points is Archeon the, the, uh, the ever shows? I don't, I don't know if he's actually in here. So let's take weird. But you could just ro- just run him as a Chaos Lord on a dragon. Yeah, that guy's so much bigger than a Chaos Lord on a dragon. Chaos and Lord, and there is no dragon. There is no Chaos um, Lord on a dragon model. There isn't. No, they had a Chaos Lord on some. See page fifty. Bung leak. I'll tell you right now. Some sort of weird I've seen creature. Lots of Chaos Lords on There's the uh, Chimera. You can have them on a Chaos Steed, a Demonic Mount, a Chaos Chariot, a Gorbis, a Manticore, and a Chaos Dragon. Yeah, but was our oh, there you go. rules? I don't know if they do. They have a <laughs> Chaos Dragon model. Yeah, they have a Chaos Dragon. Look at Fantasy had the Chaos Dragon. A Chaos yeah, Lord but I'm not Chaos playing Dragon. with Fantasy models. I'm but playing with my Age of uh, Sigmar models. So is Archeon, no, you're playing with Fantasy is that, models. Is, no, Archeon, no, Stop it. is Archeon not in there? No. Uh, probably, if he if he is going to be in there, it could be... Um, There's almost no named characters. Yeah, it would be you when have your to build comes your own out. characters. <clears throat> I'll have to look on the Bretonian book when I get it. There might be the characters in there. You have to use. Yeah, I th- you have to use the old ugly Nagash model. The big old head. Oh, there's no Nagash. Nagash and, isn't and... there, dude. <clears throat> mm. Nagash hasn't been in the fantasy game since like uh, fourth edition, dude. You're thinking of the undead army, but in starting with fifth edition, they split the undead into the vampire counts and the tomb kings. And no, Nagash, but Nagash, no, but Nagash is the one who brought it upon the end times. Nagash so. is the, the head. <clears throat> of oh, that's the, true. Nagash showed up when the end times happened. He's 
still exists, right? I don't think I don't think Nagash is in the old world because the old world is really far in the past. It's it's way before the end times. I don't it's, even think Luan Leon Coors is in there. No, nope. none of the named characters have even been born yet in Good. the old world. Yeah, well, somehow hmm. they were reborn in the hmm. age of Sigmar. You know who's who's Luan Leon Coeur? Luan Leon Coeur? Yeah, he doesn't exist in the old world. Exactly. No, in Age of Sigmar, who is he? Oh, he doesn't exist in Age of Sigmar. Exactly, and that's why I have to play the old world where he still doesn't exist. But I can get a lord on a hippogriff, and his name will be the one I don't care. Yeah, you just make him. <laughs> Listen, uh, I haven't played idiot. the game yet, <laughs> but I've watched probably about a dozen battle reports. Some of them much better than others. Um, there's there's this one YouTuber who makes really good uh, uh, battle reports. I wish they would make more. Um, and I'm not going to plug them because I can't think of their name. Uh, send me but a link. Uh, I did send you the link. It's that it was the Vampire Counts versus the um, versus oh, the Baconia. I saw that. No, one. it wasn't Games Workshop. Oh, that one was good though. The Games Workshop one was very good, but I, I think this one that I sent you was was even better. Okay, I'll have to look at it. I'll All right. I'll, I'll I'll look it up. But hey. Man, we're going to keep you updated because pretty soon, hopefully sooner rather than later, Ed will at least get his Bretonia army built, and we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> square base it up across the table. Square bases, dude. Ah. <laughs> You're so jealous. Look at Blake. He looks so jealous. You know, it's not that I'm jealous. It's I'm sad. Yeah. <laughs> We're sad it's, for you. It's like seeing your friend in an abusive relationship and you try exactly. to tell them, hey, he's not good for you. Um, yeah. Hey, yeah. you know, I'll, I'll take a day off work while he's out of town. Let's get your stuff packed up and let's move you out. There's a special... Right. There's a special... There's a special place for you. Companies like a special shelter called Mantic, where they take brutalized miniature players. Um, <laughs> um, I am interested in seeing how this plays out. I do want... You're going to watch from afar. I do yeah. want to see what I can play with with um the re the whatever you call them the little slot adapters what, adapters oh, the regiment adapters uh i would be interested to see what can work for that i don't want to spend any money um no, don't and i don't to. want to do any hobby because the last thing <laughs> i need I, last thing i need games workshop to do is to make me hobby yeah and that's where I think the cut, the deepest cut is, is that they made you hobby and you just can't get past that. It's a hard, it's a hard road. I love hobby. But I believe that you can get past it, Blake. That's been my greatest joy is all the hobby. I made four new skeleton champions today to, to champion my four skeleton units. Yeah. One of them I had, had so much knife fun. in his head. Yeah, I, well, I, I had so much fun like cutting swords in half, and I put one of them. I, I'm, I'm going to call him Steve Martin because he has a sword going through his head. <laughs> I've got another one with an axe on his head. Yeah, yeah it was, bless it was your so heart, bless your heart, Travis. <laughs> and what one of the interesting things, well, you know what is is I painted this army a long time ago, and it's been really fun to try to match that like older style that I was using. And make sure that the new stuff like still blends in, even though my skills have greatly, you know, yeah. upgraded since I, I first did this army. You know, I mean, I was, I was like fourteen, fifteen when I, you know, started on some of these models and, and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm horny for square bases, and I, I can't wait to get more. Num 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 num. I love it, dude. Big stinky chunks. 
in the immortal right. words of Moose hold Job on, Jack. Hold on what? Hold on a hold, second. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Hold. Um, so, just real quick, Blake. Yeah. Uh, Cheyenne's having this thing uh, in two weeks. Yeah. You're not going, dude? I don't think so. I think I'm going to have company. Oh, man. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I heard um, Travis is going to be there. Yeah, I'm coming up. Uh, Carl's going to be there. I think but, I'm going to have right. company. You have company. All right. I think I'm going to have company. You think? Okay. Yeah. And this. Go ahead. All right. President's Day weekend. It's a big this weekend. Week, this weekend, too? This weekend, do I have company? Yeah. No. Okay. All right. It's just, Sweet. I think that seven, like, I might be free. I think I'm, I don't know if I have company on the 19th, which is the actual no, no, holiday. Sorry. For whatever reason, this is happening on Saturday, the 17th. Gotcha. But, yeah, I, I'm pretty confident I'm going to have, I'll have people over. Okay. Oh. People, uh, you know what People. I mean. I have a <laughs> I company. <laughs> I'm just making fun of you, Blake. Um, yeah, <laughs> company, company. Um, All right, dude. I mean, I'll tell, I'll tell, Carl, I'll tell Carl hi for you. I'll tell yeah. Travis hi for you. Oh, I I've seen Travis. Yeah, but come on. Yeah, uh, but to see Carl in the flesh, oh, it's. Mm amazing yeah i can't it's pretty nice i mean <laughs> the thing is even if i can go i i can't be relied upon to stay for an extended period of time you know what i'm saying yeah it, that's why the, yeah. the, he was asking for a food a food head count like i said yeah. hey you know don't don't contribute me into the food thing because even if i can show don't plan on blake eating making plans yeah, you can't plan on Blake making a plan. There's yeah, because there's a plan. I'll just I could just here's what there, There's a plan. I could just, I could just tell her. I could just tell her. Hey, you know what? Can't make it. Carl's in town, and she's like, "Oh, from the Independent Characters podcast." And I'll be like, "The one, the only, <laughs> very well. Warhammer hero." What happens about making plan? When I make a plan, well, Blake makes, it, they 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 yeah. have to they they break. Well, here's yeah. what happens. Blake takes a, the he makes a plan, and he takes the time, and he rebases all his models, and then the plans change, and now he's got to rebase the rebase, and he's just not going to do it. He can't. He doesn't have the time. I can't blame him. I can't nor blame the him energy. That. He doesn't have the time. Nor the energy. The passion. I don't have the passion. The passion. The funding, the love. Oh, I got the, the funding. Uh, the the goodwill, the sex appeal, sex appeal. Don't got, he doesn't. Definitely don't got that. He's lacking it all, dude. He's lacking it all. The drive to survive. To seventy five. <laughs> it's not there. Not anymore. E- Those days are gone. <laughs> <Like>. <laughs> Blake looks at nostalgia as a bad thing. Go ahead, Blake. End it. Ian, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what I can put together with what I have painted. I got some spawns. The immortal words of Moose Jaw Jackson. Life is always sweeter, sweeter. after the cover save.